Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube? This is SEL0320, back yet again for a brand new TV review for the show The Vampire Diaries. This is episode 8, season 7. The name of this episode is <clears throat> Hold Me, Thrill Me, Kiss Me, Kill Me. Um, spawning out the last episode, basically Lily, Stefan, Damon, they've come up to this realization that they have to kill Julian, okay? Lily's realized that this is the man that not just bad or demented based on circumstance, he's downright evil, calculatively evil and abusive. And she recognizes the signs, she's down with working with her sons, but the thing is that Damon in the last episode tried to kill his mom. He didn't care. He's cut off emotional traction with this, with this woman. And I wonder if he's turned his emotions off. Um, ever since the whole situation that happened with Elena, and uh, the last time, like he kind of like said his kind of goodbye for now kind of thing, he just seems like he's just off, you know what I'm saying? And this episode embodied that a lot. I'll get to that part towards the end of the episode, but um, the episode kind of starts off with basically you find out why all these bodies were kind of sitting there um, and being siphoned and being fed, like buttered up basically. Um, it was all Julian. Julian um, basically wanted to have a big blast uh, for the girls and for his other heretic family because I guess it's the anniversary of, I forgot what the girl's name, um, the one that plays, what is her name? Um, Nora and uh, Mary. Um, it's their anniversary basically of the getting together and he wanted to have a blast for them. It's really weird. Julian seems as though he really likes or loves or cares about these people, but he's downright just evil, man. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, it's, it's like when he's with them, you can kind of see them meshing together as well as as a family. But he just he dwells in in just being a vampire. It's like I don't see why Damon and him don't get together well because. He, he identifies with being a vampire. He loves basically reveling in what he's doing. The only thing that, that separates them with Damon and him is the fact that he's evil and he killed basically um, Stefan's unborn child. And on top of that, um, there's a lot of weight in between that because of the mother. Um, but it was like this whole entire episode, they were trying to figure out a way of kind of setting Julian up because his life is tied to Lily's. Now, what did I like about this episode? I liked Stefan and Lily. I liked the, the openness of their relationship because basically Stefan kind of get an atom bomb thrown at him with Caroline being pregnant. Um, as I've told y'all before, I know why they wrote that in because the actual person is getting pregnant. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, but whatever. <laughs> um, but it was like the advice that she gave her son it was a really good motherly advice. Not just that, she asked for his advice it pertains to Damon. And it was, it was really insightful, it was really heartfelt. But even like it was more heartbreaking is the end. Like the end sequence with what happens to Lily, I was like, dang, this is sad. Like, because it, it shows all the different levels of how they've come, come full circle as a family. Um, and it was, just, it was downright sad, man. Like. I don't know where the show is going to come from this point because that death that happened in this episode is, is going to re-fortify and break down the dynamics of the whole entire rest of the show because everything they've been fighting for is just to be able to free their mother. Now, it doesn't even matter, you know? Um, and I kind of partly blame Damon for a lot of it. it, it it's, I don't, it it's not his fault necessarily. Um, and I can understand him being hurt, but it's it's just something off about him in this episode that disjoints me being able to feel for the things that were going on in this episode. Um, specifically, like I said, with Stefan and Lily, even with Nora and Mary, like them trying to elevate their relationship to another level and with Mary's prospects of what their future is supposed to be. Um, even like Enzo. Enzo had like more depth in his in this episode than he ever has because of something as an interaction that happens with him and Lily, they finally embrace and kiss at the same exact time um, him and Matt Donovan. Now, whoever Matt's group is, I'm curious to see who they are. I feel like they're a group of hunters. 
I don't I don't know where it's gonna go with it. Um, but I'm curious to see what happened. But I, I felt for Enzo. I really did. And this episode, this, more than any other episode, I felt him the most vulnerable he'd ever been. Because Matt has said some pretty shrewd stuff, but then he kind of came back. He didn't you know, rip his head off or whatever. He could have. He easily could have. He just told Matt, he's like, look, you are the one that is at the lower part of this total point. It's going to get you killed. Like, you're doing this run the gun cop stuff, but you, you can't do anything, you know? You're just as useless as I am, basically. And I, I thought that was a really vulnerable point. The thing, though, that I didn't like is the fact that Bonnie wasn't even in the episode. Like, where, where's Bonnie? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is he, <laughs> you know? I, I mean, I thought she was working with Matt last time I saw her. And it's just like, they've resorted her from the first part of two parts of the episodes first two episodes of the season she's helping out Damon helping him get through the process as well as a lark lark was in this episode which I can understand given his circumstances from the last part of the last episode um to at a certain point episode three and four and then finding out that she's with Enzo randomly and then she just makes no kind of connections with Damon at all other than one time where they kind of met into the bar it seemed like she was really gonna be that shoulder for him didn't happen after that episode and now, now she's just not even in the show um so I don't, I don't like that i don't really like that i mean i've already expressed my thoughts about the whole bayman situation aside from bayman just her as an actor her chemistry with this group she has more roots if not just as many with elena than any of them and it's like she could really be a good catalyst of reconciliation and heart of this episode of this series for the remainder of the term of this series but they, they want to do what they want to do as far as with their character and that's that's fine there's nothing i can do about it but as far as demon in this episode he was just so cold man it wasn't just like he was cold just because he was cold like i couldn't see any emotion beside his coldness it was almost like he had his emotions off and i mean back when damon was doing some shady stuff back in the day you know he just didn't care I mean, yeah, that was his life without Elena. Yeah, I get that. That's fine. And I mean, it, it adds different levels of, of scariness and thrill. But it was like in this episode, I was like, dude, your mom's dying, you know? And he showed no remorse or thought at all. I mean, regardless, you show me this three year later period when he's thinking that he sees his mom. I thought that was really interesting dynamic. But it was like why is he feeling this? You know what I'm saying? I'm not seeing any layers peeled. Yes, I know he feels hurt and you know he feels pain. I know he's dealing with the side of what's going on with Elena, but I'm not seeing that enough. Like, I'm not seeing, like, him dealing with day-to-day -day things of trying not to go and just kill people or him going and going through this metamorphosis process of reverting back, you know? And a part of that is because there's not these intimate moments where he's with somebody specific. He can't have that with Stephanie. He can't. He never has had that with stuff. It's always been somebody else that's been able to kind of pull him out of the Either it's a lark, or it's it would either Bonnie, or it's either Elena. And even with that, Sheriff Forbes. And none of those people are there for him. Specifically, Bonnie could be. And, I mean, it just kind of made the episode for me kind of fall back. Just his attitude towards Lily just came out of nowhere. It almost felt like, I understand it. Um, but it just made the episode feel disjointed for me. Um... It was just unnecessary coldness. Not just that. Looking at the next preview, the next episode, like, Steph is just okay with that. And, I mean, they seem like they're all buddy-buddy and this is a Christmas episode. I, it just, it doesn't make sense for the writing um, to me. Uh, so, I give this episode maybe a 7 out of 10. Um, it might be the lowest I've kind of given it. Uh, I felt like this was a great opportunity that they could have had. Um, but I felt like the, the moments that did shine did not outweigh the moments that I felt like there were key moments that didn't flourish as well as they could have. But I'm not giving it lower anything lower than a seven. Um, but that's just what I give it, y'all. I'm sorry. This is my review for episode eight of The Vampire Diaries. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave your comments in the comment section below what y'all thought about the episode. And as well is if y'all would like to maybe have like kind of like a recap um, session, maybe we can go have like a live stream recap. Maybe some of y'all I can invite and we can go and just talk and riff Vampire Dogs because I don't think I talk to this about with anybody. Uh, none of my other YouTube friends or anybody like, so I would love any of y'all that have been watching these videos, I'd love to talk with y'all about this kind of thing and what y'all's thoughts of the series and what y'all love, what y'all hate, as well as originals. Like I've been looking at certain things with originals. I feel like my issue with originals 
is that these other three to four other characters that have been pushed into it is making me not care about the characters that are the most meaningful part of this regardless of them having like this all right realization that there's a way of killing originals you know it just it kind of put it off for me that's why i have not even been watching the originals unfortunately but anyway hopefully y'all enjoy this review this is jvs seo 0320 signing out i'm gone y'all sorry for all the spoilers but i love y'all peace <laughs>